another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 1 of the second quarter, which is about expressing one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. Milk base. Learning goals. Expresses one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. Writes a ratio in simplest form. What is ratio? Ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same units. Ibig sabihin, ito ay ang pagkukumpara ng bilang ng dalawa o higit pang bagay na magkauri o magkapareho. The quantities may be letter A, separate entities, ito ang mga bagay na magkaiba, example, number of male student to number of female student. Letter B, different parts of a whole. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga bagay na magkaiba pero kasama sa kabuuan. Example, number of male student to total number of pupils in a class. Ratios may be written in three different ways. Letter A, word form. Example, 5 is 2, 3. So, ginamitan natin ng word na is 2. Letter B, colon form. Example, 5, colon, 3. Pero yung colon, babasahin natin as is 2. So, 5 is 2, 3. Letter C, fraction form. So, gagamitan natin ng fraction bar. Example, 5 over 3. Example 1. Compare the number of stars to circles and vice versa. Kapag sinabi natin vice versa, baligtaran. So we have 6 stars and 4 circles. Ratio of stars to circles. So mauuna po ang stars. Word form. 6 is 2, 4. Colon form. 6 colon 4 or babasahin natin as 6 is to 4. Fraction form. 6 over 4. Next, ratio of circles to stars. Mauuna po ang circles. 4 is to 6. Sa word form. In colon form, 4 Colon 6 or 4 is 2, 6. Fraction form 4 over 6. Example 2. Compare the total number of shapes to number of circles and vice versa. We have 6 stars plus 4 circles equals 10 total shapes. Ratio of total number of shapes to number of circles. So, mauuna ang total number of shapes, which is 10. Word form. 10 is 2, 4. Colon form. 10, colon, 4, or 10 is 2, 4. Fraction form. Ten over four. Ratio of number of circles to total number of shapes. So, mauna po ang number of circles, which is four. Four is to ten. Sa word form. 
colon form 4 colon 10 or 4 is to 10 fraction form 4 over 10 ratio must be expressed in simplest form which means that the terms are relatively prime to each other Tulad sa fraction, ang ratio ay kailangang naka-lowest term. Ibig sabihin, ang first term at second term ay wala ng common factor. Reduce these ratios to lowest terms. Number 1, 8 over 16. Using continuous division, let's divide 8 and 16 by their GCF, which is 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. Therefore, the lowest term of 8 over 16 is 1 half. Number 2, 18 over 63. Using continuous division, let's divide 18 and 63 by their GCF, which is 9. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. 63 divided by 9 equals 7. Therefore, the lowest term of 18 over 63 is 2 over 7. Number 3, 56 is 2, 7. Let's divide 56 and 7 by their GCF, which is 7. 56 divided by 7 equals 8. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Therefore, the lowest term of 56 is to 7 is 8 is to 1. Number 4, 9 is to 33. Let's divide 9 and 33 by their GCF, which is 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 33 divided by 3 equals 11. Therefore, the lowest term of 9 is to 33 is 3 is to 11. Express each as ratio in lowest terms. Number 1. Write the ratio of 50 minutes to 2 hours. Ang minutes at hours ay parehong tumutukoy sa time or oras. Pero kailangan natin ng conversion para kapag nag lowest term tayo, pareho sila ng units. Ang 50 minutes ay hindi pwedeng i-convert sa hours dahil kulang. Pero ang 2 hours pwedeng i-convert sa minutes. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Since 2 hours ang i-convert natin sa minutes, we have 2 hours equals 60 minutes. It times natin sa 2 para maging 120 minutes. Therefore, the ratio is 50 is to 120. Pareho na pong minutes. Now, we need to get the lowest term of 50 is to 120 dahil malaki po yung ratio. Using cancellation method, let's divide 50 and 120 by their GCF which is 10. 50 divided by 10 equals 5. 120 divided by 10 equals 12. Therefore, the ratio is 5 is to 12. Number 2, write the ratio of 16 days to 4 weeks. Ang days at weeks ay parehong tumutukoy sa panahon. Ang 16 days ay hindi pwedeng i-convert sa weeks dahil hindi po exact. Sobra po ng dalawang araw. Pero ang 4 weeks pwedeng i-convert sa 16 days. Since 4 weeks ang i-convert natin sa days, we have 1 week equals 7 days. So, 4 weeks equals 7 days times 4 
equals 28 days. So, the ratio is 16 is to 28. So, pareho silang days. To reduce the ratio, let's divide 16 and 28 by their GCF which is 4. Using cancellation method, 16 divided by 4, we have 4. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. Therefore, the final answer or the ratio is 4 is to 7. Number 3, the ratio of 400 meters to 2 kilometers. Ang 400 meters ay hindi pwedeng i-convert sa kilometers dahil kulang po. Pero ang 2 kilometers pwedeng i-convert sa meters. 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. Since 2 kilometers ang i-convert sa meters, we have 2 kilometers equals 1,000 meters times 2 equals 2,000 meters. So, the ratio is 400 is to 2,000. To reduce the ratio in lowest term, let's divide 400 and 2,000 by their GCF which is 400. Using cancellation method, i-cancel po natin. 400 divided by 400 equals 1. Yung 2,000 masyadong malaki, so i-cancel po natin yung tigda dalawang zero. So, technique po yan. I-cancel natin yung dalawang zero para ma-divide natin ang 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Therefore, the final answer is 1 is to 5. Number 4, write the ratio of 6 decades to 25 years. Ang 25 years, hindi pwedeng i-convert sa decades dahil hindi po exact. Pero ang 6 decades, pwedeng i-convert sa years. 1 decade equals 10 years. Since 6 decades ang ating i-convert sa years, we have 10 years times 6 equals 60 years. The ratio is 60 is to 25. Pero, pwede pa natin i-lowest term. So, let's divide 60 is to 25 by their GCF which is 5. 60 divided by 5, i-cancel natin. The answer is 12. 25 divided by 5, the answer is 5. Therefore, the final answer or the ratio is 12 is to 5. If two different units cannot be changed to the same unit, then it becomes rate. A rate is a special ratio that compares two measurements with different units. Ibig sabihin sa rate, pwede pa rin mag-compare pero hindi na kailangan ang conversion. Kaya diretso na agad sa lowest term kung kinakailangan. Express each rate in lowest terms using continuous division. Number 1. The ratio of 36 oranges to 18 children. Obviously, ang oranges at children ay hindi related. So, different units sila. So, the ratio is 36 is to 18. Get the lowest term using continuous division. Let's divide 36 and 18 by 18. So, yan po ang kanilang GCF. 36 divided by 18 equals 2. 18 divided by 18 equals 1. Therefore, the lowest term of 36 is to 18 is 2 is to 1. Number 2, the ratio of 312 meters to 13 seconds. So, ang pinag-compare dito ay meters and seconds. So, not related. So, the ratio is 312 is to 13. Using continuous division, 
let's divide 312 and 13 by their GCF, which is 13. 312 divided by 13, 24. 13 divided by 13 equals 1. Therefore, the lowest term of 312 is to 13 is 24 is to 1. Number 3. The ratio of 120 kilometers to 2 hours. Kilometers and hours are not related. So, let's proceed to the ratio and lowest term. Our ratio is 120 is to 2. Using continuous division, we have 120 and 2 divided by their GCF, which is 2. 120 divided by 2 equals 60. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Therefore, the lowest term of 120 is to 2 is 60 is to 1. Number 4. The ratio of 84 kilometers to 7 liters of gasoline. Ang pinagkukumpare natin ay kilometers and liters. So, not related. They are rate. So, the ratio is 84 is to 7. Isulat na po kaagad. Then, using continuous division, let's divide 84 and 7 by their GCF, which is 7. 84 divided by 7 equals 12. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Therefore, the lowest term of 84 is to 7 is 12 is to 1.